Hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? I need to open the game. <laughs> I forgot to open the game. That's my bad. How are you guys doing today? If I my TV remote. <laughs> Wonderful. Hello. <laughs> I'm opening the game right now and then we'll we'll get some more stuff up. Alright. Hello. I don't know what islands we're doing. We're probably gonna run and refresh today as I'm very low on inventory space. Um so <laughs> Yes, this is our April PNG. <laughs> I am feeling a little bit better today. So I'm I'm just kind of vibing. We've got we've got our tiny little Chubbins here, as you guys can see him. Chubbins loves his mom. <laughs> All right, Larry. What do I have in here that I can sell you? Man, I really wish that locked at top was off by default instead of on by default. And sell him these. Oh, we don't need ranch today. You know what we do need today? Oh my god, it's Wild Horse Wednesday. We have to wear pink. It's candy wafer day! <laughs> candy wafer gets to run today. I know we're IUH hunting today, but I'm still gonna run mainland just to sweep through for the, the possibility of any events. And somebody in my house just turned on a vacuum. I I can't control that. I'm sorry if you guys hear it. <laughs> there's a there's now a vacuum on apparently. The timing could not be worse, but it's okay. We will run mainland just because it's event season. Um so we're just sweeping mainland just looking for any event horses. I know every time it's a Wild Horse Wednesday and I run mainland, people come into my chat and they're like Hey, there are no IUHs on mainland. I know that, but it's event season. <laughs> there are there could be events on on mainland. Need money. There we go. Yeah, I still haven't caught the new Marwari as you guys can see. Um so that's how that's going. <laughs> we also have a new trial mod in here today. We have Foxy, if you guys want to say hi. Yes, exactly. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. And you know what? I'm wearing pink. The PNG's so pretty. Thank you. Hope you get one today. I hope so, too. <laughs> I'm gonna be grinching luck from all of you. Sorry, I was just really quickly checking to see if there's anything cool over there. Yes, Foxy is our newest trial mod. We are looking at possibly selecting one or two more. Um, but we're, we're just kind of debating on a few others. So I will say, mod applications are still open if you guys decide that you do want to apply to become a moderator. You can find that link in the description. The person that would likely train you to be a mod would be Mel. 
Love the new look. Thank you. This is my PNG for April. Hello, hello. Welcome in. How long will applications be open? They're kind of permanently open. They get checked every Friday. It's just especially this week with, um... I, I would say, with it being April, you know, my channel is about to be a year old. I figure it might be a good time to even get some more mods in here as well. My channel will be a year old in one week, guys. One week. <laughs> my my one year YouTube channel anniversary is next week Wednesday. Exactly seven days. And then I will be my three year anniversary as a streamer over on Twitch will be on the twenty fifth. We don't really have an age requirement on the mods, but you do have to have Discord. It's a requirement. Would love to find at least... I don't know. Have you guys been having an issue with the, the spawn rate? I'm just not... I guess issue isn't the right word. Has the spawn rate felt eerily low? Like, have you guys not been finding much either, or am I just incredibly unlucky this event? Love the new PNG, thank you! To apply to become a moderator, you have to apply at the link in the description below. It says mod applications in all caps, and then, um, it's got a link right next to it. Ooh, Candy Wafer didn't want to run any further. Okay, forest. Ugh. I don't know. I've I haven't I also haven't been looking as much as some of you guys have. Like I know there are, there are a lot of viewers in my chat who have been looking like almost 24/7 since the event started. Um I've been really burnt out this event. I've been kind of demotivated. So beyond stream when I've when I'm searching on stream, I haven't been playing. Oh, yeah, 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 If somebody, um, be in a certain app for mod applications, uh, you are required to have Discord, that's, if that's what you mean, but, <laughs> you're just required to have Discord. Discord is how my whole mod team communicates, and it's required. Um, here. There we go. Go ahead and tick that up. Yeah, Discord is required. Yes, yeah, so we've now, for the entire event, I've caught... Five Ices, eleven Appaloosas. I would I would love to get that, that Marwari ticked up. I would love that to go to just at least one. Um there we go. Yeah, the main reason that Discord is a requirement to become one of my mods is because that is where the mod team communicates. That is where um, notes maybe to watch on to watch a user in chat who's been a little problematic or something like that. 
or putting notes on why a user was banned from chat and stuff like that. We keep track of everything and you need Discord to do that. You've been turning in butterflies? No, I'm not turning all of my butterflies in until the end of the event. Who's your fastest horse? Probably my OG stat thoroughbred, uh, Horms. She's 100% purebred OG stat. So she would, by technicality, be the fastest. Um, royal time. The Trident's Trident has been permanently put on my pastel dream name, Poseidon. Ooh! Well, tell Poseidon I said hello. How's Moose doing? Moose is thriving. Don't worry, she's doing great. She just turned a week old today. Moose just turned a week old. I could probably get her out in a minute. We're gonna keep doing the thing where every every few islands I gotta stand up and walk around because I I've been in this mood lately where I don't like sitting for for too long. Does she still bite? What? She's never bitten anybody. <laughs> Moose would never. Any new IUHs? Nope. I've only been live for about 13 minutes now. She bit me. No, she didn't. She would never. All of my IUHs are precious little angels, and they can do no wrong. I love my horses. <laughs> we do have title trivia today, though. I will say. Title trivia is today. Um... What about dipping sticks? Dipping sticks is okay. We have title trivia today. Um, it is at the end of stream, like always. No, I do not know what time that is. What are you, H, are you trying to get? I don't have a specific one in mind. I find it, it kind of limits it a little bit if I have one in mind. There's more disappointment if I get a different one, if I choose a specific one I want. Who's your least favorite out of your IUHs? Um, my mossy Mustang. I'm dyeing my hair? Ooh, what color? I've been thinking of dyeing mine. I just haven't had the time. Hang on. I'm still gonna keep playing, I just gotta stand up. My leg is cramping, and that's okay, that's fine. We're going in order from the bottom island, so mainland every time. And then we are going up all the way to Volcano. Red? Like a vibrant red or like a ginger? <laughs> there's, there's two very different meanings to red hair and I'm just really curious. I think both are really pretty. I personally, um, and this is, <laughs> this is a shock considering my PNG, I know. I am not, I do not have red hair in real life. More of a dark red? Ooh, okay. Might hunt on forest, my friend of good luck there. Got a pearly green quarter horse with only 200 lassos. Oh, dang! Well, I would just steal your friend's luck in general. Hello, hello, welcome in. Yeah, anybody who applied to be a moderator yesterday, there are only about three of you who have not received a reply yet. Um, so if you applied yesterday, you should have a reply, unless you are one of those three. Did Mel draw the PNG? Yes, she did! Hello, hello, welcome in!
Are you ever gonna draw your own PNG? I have. The PNG I use in my videos is drawn by me. Didn't get a reply, what does that mean? Uh, that usually just means that we are, um... We're discussing that one a, f a little bit further. I believe you are one of the three that haven't gotten a reply, Panda. Hi, Akira! Sorry, my chair is, like, malfunctioning just a little bit. I'm passing that Marwari, because you know what? No fancy coat, no fancy hair. <laughs> yep, about three people didn't get a reply, so if you applied yesterday and didn't get a reply, you are more than likely one of those three. My cat says hi. Tell your cat I said hello while I fix my chair real quick. I don't know why the music stopped. <laughs> I actually have no idea why it stopped. Okay, there we go. You okay? You keep stopping? Yeah, I'm fine. New PNG is so cute. Thank you! Alright, now we can keep running. I fixed my chair. Hello, welcome in. Yeah, I don't know what just happened with the music there for a second. That was weird. Did you get a new chair? Uh, yes, this is the new one. I got it a week ago, I think. Had it for about a week. Right? A week? Yes, less than a week. No, a week. We're good. It was a week. It was a week. <laughs> Cut two appies, that's it. Yeah, I'm I'm having trouble catching much of anything. This count right here is my total count since the event started. Do you like your new chair? Honestly, if I had to rate it on Amazon, I would give it like a solid 3.5 um, out of 5. I don't think I would rate it that high on Amazon. Like, it's pretty good for the price, but it's a little uncomfortable.
Hang on. There there should be only three people who applied yesterday that did not get a reply. And I'm talking yesterday during stream. If you applied yesterday during stream and did not get a reply, um, there should only be three of you. If you applied yesterday after stream, you are not counted in that three because we have not checked anything after stream. The only people who did not get a reply were there are only three that did not get a reply um, who applied during stream. Anybody that applied on the 2nd of April, so yesterday, um, should have gotten a reply unless you applied after the stream ended. Your fit is so cute. Thank you! Yeah, mod applications are still open. We'll be checking them on, uh, after stream today as well. So if you apply right now or anytime before stream ends, you can you'll probably get a reply today. What should I call my cow print gray quarter horse? Um Ooh, uh What's the color of the chair? My chair is pink. Did a mod quit? No, 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 no. We haven't lost any mods that I know of. How can I apply? You can apply down in the description below. It says mod applications in all caps. Um. And you just click the link next to it. It should bring you to a little form. Jungle time! Your PNG's adorable. Thank you! Mel drew it. This is fine. I'm a little tired, but that's out of my control. <laughs> I'm a little tired. I know as soon as I have a little more room in my bedroom, I'm moving my entire PC setup somewhere else in my room. Which would likely give me a lot more room to get a nicer chair. Seen the art that I drew you? I think I have. I'm I'm pretty sure I have. I usually leave likes instead of um instead of comments because I don't know what to say every time. Usually when I when I see art though I do comment on it. Oh yeah, Mel is currently in the process of working on a graphic novel. Go candy wafer, go real. Sorry, I'm just a little distracted today. I'm good. The bunny plush could be yellow. I can check my bunny plushies from last year. Um. 
Oh, well, I guess that wouldn't be too helpful. I really only have... I really only have two. <laughs> I don't... I guess I wouldn't really be super helpful on that front. I love Chubbins. I do too. What color is Candy Wafer's balloon? It's default, so it should be red pearl. Unless that's not default, and I might just be stupid, but... <laughs> uh, it's default. And I just got in a competitive dance group and got a duo. Aww! We having title trivia? Yep, title trivia is at the end of today's stream. Some of the questions are written, written a little, like, weirdly. Um, because almost all of them are about accessories and hair dye today. So you guys don't have to know a favorite food, you don't have to, uh, you really don't have to know anything specific. Oh, there's an Ed Sheeran horse over there. Most of them are just about accessories today. Accessories and dyes. I know a lot of you guys saw me in a, in a server earlier. I had a few people ask to come to my island and I told them I was writing the, the questions. The questions have been written. You have five questions today. They'll be at the end of stream. They are completely about accessories and dyes. There's no remembering a title's gender. There's, uh, there's no remembering their favorite food or anything like that. You're good. You got this. It's all dyes and, uh, accessories. Hi, Tango! What should I name my Easter egg icy with your trident? Uh, name it... Regardless of gender, name it Rodeo. Just because I feel like that's a cute name. Which event is Sunny's pinwheel from? Summer. The pinwheel is from the summer event. Um, yeah, Tango's a mod. That's why they have the little, uh, wrench next to their name. Should I get Poseidon Seafoam Fade or Deep Sea Fade? Deep Sea Fade! Yeah, Foxy is a mod in training. I don't think I put out a staff announcement about that. I think I might have forgot to do that. <laughs> we are looking at, um, a few others. Just gotta get a hold of some other admins. Hello, hello, welcome in. My limestone, great quarter horse. Named her Savannah temporarily, but now she needs a new name. I think Savannah's a good name. I think I think I think she should keep that one. I've got quite a few horses with temporary names that the names just ended up fitting. Yeah, if you pass your trial period, you will be you will be added to the mod team officially. I love Rodeo. I'm glad. That just seemed like a really cute name. Yeah, I'm a little tired today, so I'm moving a little slowly. You heard of Wings of Fire? Uh, I still haven't checked it out, so I'm still gonna say no. <laughs> I 
I have I have yet to check it out, so I'm still gonna say no. Foxy's a baby mod. Yeah, Foxy is a mod in training. A little trial mod. We are still accepting mod applications. We're trying to get two, one or two more mods. Is that her name with pastel blue? Yes, you should. <laughs> yes, he 100% should. Do you like the event, Marwari? I do. I think it's really cute. I haven't caught one yet, but I think it's super cute. So now I used to play Wild Horse all the time, but now it's too laggy. Oh, I get that though. I can kind of find values of event accessories. I would say check the wiki. <laughs> I I would definitely say check the wiki. If it's not there, uh, I don't know. Can you get a height potion? Uh, you can get height potions. You could probably buy them just from another player. They're usually like. 35k. If anybody tries to charge you higher than that, don't buy it. <laughs> you can also get them from Larry if you have Robux. You can... Pretty sure you can, uh, you can win them. I think probably from Steven. I'm not quite sure on that one. Not even fancy hair. Come on. Yeah, if anybody tries to charge you over, like, 35k tokens for, like, a height potion, don't do it. Even I wouldn't even pay 35k, but, you know, I would say in that range. If they try to charge you higher than that, don't do it. I did my head, but not in chat the PNG. Super cute. Yeah! <laughs> Chevins is just clinging to my arm. He's just here to hang out. Have you not got a Marwari? I haven't caught one. I'm doing my best. I'm trying. Rudios and temporary attack. It's all white until I get some moonstone. All oh, fair. Yeah, I've caught 11 of the Appaloosa, 5 of the Icy, and 0 of the Marwari. It's a drastic difference from last event. <laughs> uh, during the Val event, I, I had already caught almost 40 of the low tier. By this time. I haven't even been horse hunting. I get that, Tango. I've been, I've been doing it very little off- off stream. Little character is so cute. Thank you. Ooh, Kai's here. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. Do you have any tips for IUH hunting? Honestly, my best tip would be patience. You have to stay patient because an IUH could take almost forever to find one. How long have you and Mel been drawing for? Mel and I have been drawing for pretty much our whole lives. Thank you for subscribing! We've been drawing for pretty much our whole lives. Our mom started us out really young. 
We've both had a very large interest in art. Love the new PNG. Thank you. No more worry yet. Yeah, no more worry. I'm doing my best. I'm looking. I'm hunting. I'm trying. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like the event? I think I would give this one a solid 8.5. Um, it can- it can move up to a 9 once I catch the Marwari. <laughs> like, I'll- I'll definitely move that rating up to a 9. Um, if I can catch the Marwari. How many spring butterflies have you turned in? Zero. I haven't- I'm turning all of my butterflies in on the last day of the event. Actually, we're gonna fill that last spot. Thank you for subscribing! We're gonna go grab a random carriage out of my- out of here. No, actually, no we're not. No, we're not. We're gonna get rid of this. And we're gonna sell one random horse to Larry. And we're gonna go catch that herd to- to fill my inventory. Ready, Alexa, tried it? Aww. Thank you! Seen so many people catching more worries, and I'm shook by how easy they make it look. I know! I'm trying my best. I've seen so many people catching a bunch of them. Um. And I just. Oh, I haven't caught a single one. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. I'm working on it. Gotta get on and hunt in spite to get a purple horse first. No, Tango, please. <laughs> Screaming and crying. Alright, let's reset my server. Literally cannot focus because your PNG reminds me of my aunt. Hey. <laughs> I love this PNG. My PNG just suddenly looks related to you, Kai. <laughs> What's your favorite event? The summer event of 2022. Alright, we're gonna go free up some space. She's super awesome. I know, and I'm super awesome too. <laughs> That's something me and your aunt have in common. We're super awesome, Kai. <laughs> The vacuum is on again. Every time. Every time. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna say this every time I run mainland. We're running mainland just to check for events. Rodeo's giving you luck for the Marwari. Thank you, Rodeo! What's your least favorite event? Could be your least favorite favorite year or for that event or just event in general. Um, I am gonna say... 
My least favorite event was the holiday event of, of uh, 2022. I really liked the holiday event of 2023. It wasn't that much different, but they had the Frisian. <laughs> um, so I'm I'm gonna say my least favorite event was the holiday event of 2022. I don't know. I just I never I've never really been a huge fan of the fawns. Um, and I didn't really like the reindeer. And that's just my personal opinion. That's kind of what makes it my, my least favorite. It's still a very good event, and I still absolutely love the accessories from it. Like, the Santa hats, one of my favorite hats. Um, but it would still, I think just the, the 2022 one would fall under my least favorite. Welcome in! Oh, wait, hang on. Sorry, I had to check that spawn point over there. Pick two islands I should hunt. Um, jungle and volcano. And if you don't like volcano, mountain. How many butterflies do you have? Probably just less than 200. Yeah, 171. I haven't focused too much on catching them. How many IUHs do you have? I currently have 19. I caught my, uh, my 19th just last week. What green and pink tack color looks the best with pastel pink and green fade? Um, I personally go with just the regular pink. Like, usually I would, I would go with the regular pink. Got almost 900 butterflies yesterday from only running forest for an hour. Dang! That's really impressive, actually. <laughs> I've hardly been running any of the islands. I've been... Focusing more on run and refresh than a, than anything else. Chubbins looks so cute holding your arm. Thank you. He is cute. He's just a little dude. Have you played Horse Life yet? I have a video on it the day it released. Uh, the day it had its... Um, the day it went to public alpha, if I remember. Yeah, I've got a video on it already. Who was your favorite event horse? It can't be Trident or any of the titles. Well, then in that case, it's Apple Juice. <laughs> Apple Juice, my V1 Val. The PNG looks sick. Thank you, Mel Druitt. Like always. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Getting so mad at the end because I was trying to get an even number of turn-ins and kept on getting one more than I needed, so I ended up with 890. Oh, Man, I haven't- I haven't played in a couple weeks. Like, the- when I uploaded that video was the last time that I actually played. So I- I might- I might check it out and make a video on it. Love the thing on the side of the screen. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. I last I played was the I believe the day of and the day after they they like went into like the little pub they went public at the very least. 
And I only remember because it was the same day that there was, um, that there was supposed to be an update on, on Wild Horse Island. So I, I made both videos. <laughs> I ended up making both videos. I have some days where I speedrun videos, so I'll make like three in one day. I know my, my upcoming video on Saturday, so on the 6th. It was made the same day that I made the spring event video. They were uploaded the same day. It's just one of them isn't set to be public until, um, Saturday. Caught a new IUH last night? Ooh, what kind? Man, look at these horses. None of them are dressed in any fancy colors. None of them are dressed in any fancy outfits. Are you happy? That's a strange question. Yeah, I think I am. <laughs> I think so. Um, clear quartz. Ooh! The horses did not get the memo about the dress code. I know, and it's so upsetting. Hello, hello, welcome in. Royal time. How are you? I'm doing okay. I'm a little tired. Um, I just... <laughs> I'm a little distracted today, that's all. I'm just kind of tired. It's also kind of hot in my house, like it's a little, it's a little hot in here, which isn't helping. So just desert? Well, I'm not currently running specific islands. I'm running all of them. <laughs> uh, desert is up next. It'll be... It comes after Royal, so it's up next. Your character's so cute. Thank you, Celeste. Are you excited for the world expansion update? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't know, I'm usually excited for most updates that come out, but especially this one. I've been I've been waiting. Do you ever use an event horse for the event and then just never use it after? Uh yeah. Um Originally, Candy Wafer wasn't going to be used all the time, but I decided to use her for Wednesdays because she's pink. She was just going to be like a temporary thing, so she's the best example of it. Candy Wafer was just going to be a temporary horse that I, I wasn't using that often. But then I'm like, you know what? She's pink. We wear, on Wednesdays, we wear pink. She works. Wednesday is her day. <laughs> Are those stars, bunnies, or strawberries on your dress? I believe they might be flowers. <laughs> I think they're flowers. Mean Girls reference? Exactly! That's actually where Wild Horse Wednesday comes from. And the music paused again? YouTube, stop doing that. Forgot today was Wednesday. I almost forgot too. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm excited. If it's more laggy, it's just annoying to play. It's supposed to reduce lag. Like, that's the main goal about it. It's intended to reduce lag. So you should be fine.
Oh, that seashell looked so weird. So we got a bit, ocean for a bit, screw me and DMs if I'm needed. All right, Kai, don't worry. Yeah, the the update is intended to reduce lag. Um, it's as far as I've seen, it's um, it's got lower end devices, so like phones, tablets, um, laptops that can't run it very well. It's got lower end devices in mind. Got a topaz flower kite from turning in butterflies. Ooh, that sounds so pretty! Oh, that sounds awesome! Got my first icy. Let's go, Tango! What's the title count currently? I currently have 81. Who's your least favorite horse and why? Probably a random tech A I have in my inventory and because it looks like chicken. Is it named Chicken 2? No, it's just a random teke I caught the day that they came out. You mean the raw chicken teke with blue hair? No. I, I actually do mean just a random teke in my inventory. Like, like, specifically this one. No, not that one, actually. Never mind. Come on. It's not newest. Just go stats, and it should be this one. Look at them! They're just appearing! They're just kind of around! Nice PNG! Thank you, Lainey! Are Frisians your favorite breed? No, they're not even in my, uh, my top... They're not even, like, in my top two. Aren't the Neon IUHs basically glow-in-the-dark horses? That's so real, they are. All right, candy wafer. I'll let you take a break while I stand. All right, I'm gonna let candy wafer do a little dance for you guys, and I'm gonna stand up because my leg is cramping. Um, so I'm going to put her right here. She's gonna do a little dance for you guys, and you guys can ask whatever question you want. I'll answer it while I'm standing up. Okay, ask whatever you want. Why are you so rich? I I hoard horses that I like from events. Um, is Kai a mod? Yes. When is Candy Waver's birthday? Uh, should be day two of the event. Um, I actually don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I love your videos. Thank you. Um, who is your favorite IUH girl? Uh, Mulan. 
Um, what is your favorite event? The summer event of 2022. However, if you mean in general and I can't pick a year, I'm picking Halloween. You ending the stream? No. <laughs> I'm just standing up and walking around to stretch my legs. Um... Can you rank all the events from your favorite to your least? I could do that for a video if you guys want. <laughs> I could do an event horse tier list. Um, I haven't been in some of your live streams, so who's your newest IUH? My newest IUH is Moose. I caught her last week. Let me get her. Where is Moose? Here she is. I caught her last week, literally a week ago, on Wednesday. There we go. What's your favorite holiday? Also Halloween. Hello, hello, welcome in. Ah, should I get a nose ring with an octopus on it? Yes, you should. Um, Foxy, is that the one that you sent a picture of to the Discord server? If so, that one was pretty sick. I think you should get it. Hello, hello! Welcome in. We're just taking a moment for me to stand up and stretch my legs. So no more worry? Yeah, sadly. How old are you? I am 20. I am an adult. I pay taxes. Um, who's your favorite IUH? Mulan. She's my neon blue paint horse. Who's your favorite title? Trident. <laughs> she was my first. Is there title trivia today? Yes, there is. Title trivia is at the end of stream later. Brother thought you were 13? Oh, lord. Um, do you visit petting zoos? I do, sometimes. Can I ask something? Why is in every why why in every video the character on the thumbnail is crying? It's not every video. I use the sobbing one usually for um uh for redemption videos. And whatever else. <laughs> There's different PNGs for every video. What are we doing? I'm standing up, so I'm answering questions. What's your favorite island in Wild Horse Islands? It is desert. Yeah, you guys can ask whatever you want while I stretch my legs. <laughs> Stretching my legs and standing up, like a lot of you guys should probably also do if you've been sitting for a long time. Desert is my favorite island. Desert loves me, and I love desert. <laughs> Just how it goes. Someone came up to you and asked if you were 13, what would you say? I would say no. <laughs> because I am I am an adult. That's also why I don't add people. I I don't like having anybody anybody super young added. Do you believe kids should touch grass daily? Always. Everybody should touch grass every day. Um, what's the most amount of money you've had at once in Wild Horse Islands? Uh, four million, I think. How long have you been playing Wild Horse Islands? Um, in 19 days, so just under, just under three weeks, uh, it'll be two years. Touching digital Wild Horse Island grass? Okay, Tango. <laughs> I am, I am an adult. That is why I don't add anybody. I don't, I don't add anyone, I don't, uh, I don't accept DMs on, like, TikTok or anything, because that's weird. <sighs> How many horses do you have in Wild Horse Islands? Um, I'm currently carrying 935 on me, but I have to sell a lot of them. Do you add your mods? I don't even, I think... I think I don't even have most of my mods added. 
Like, we, we mostly communicate through Discord, um, and that's in my, that's in my actual server. I don't even have most of them added as friends. Though, to be honest, most of my mod team is over 18. <laughs> like, uh, Mel is over 18, Lois is over 18, Tango and Kai are both over 18. Most of my mod team's adults. If you had to completely delete a breed from Wild Horse Islands, which would it be? Ooh. Probably Tekes. Not that I actually want to delete the Tekes, but I would probably pick the Tekes. Do you need to have Discord to be a mod? Yes, you do. How do you get so many horses? I, uh, I catch them and I don't sell them sometimes. Um... Who is your youngest mod? Probably Aloha. I think Aloha was recommended personally by Kai. Um, I usually don't like to like to pick really young mods, but I think I think Aloha was recommended by Kai, which is why I picked Aloha. Um, after that, my my youngest mod after Aloha. These are these are actual like mods, not mods in training, but my youngest one after Aloha is about to be 18. Not naming names, but forget Aloha's your youngest mod. Yeah, I don't I don't have many super young mods. If you deleted Teke, you'd delete my IUH. Mine would get deleted too, don't worry. I've got dipping stakes. Uh where are you dipping stakes? Ah, oh, there she is. <laughs> What's your next goal? The next goal, uh, in terms of subscribers, is 10k. Nope, almost pulled out the wrong horse. When is title trivia? The same time it always is, at the end of stream. Guess what? What? What's up? You're so close to 9k. I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> How many butterflies have you redeemed? I've redeemed none. I think that's the answer. None. Alright, let's go ahead and tick up that number again. 12. <sighs> Which NPC in Wild Horse Island do you hate the most? I don't think I hate any of them. Uh, most of the NPCs are pretty nice to me. Uh, but I think, I think I would pick Cupid from the Val event. Like I think I think a hundred percent I would probably end up picking Cupid. How do you get good horses so easily? What's your secret? I don't know. I don't know. If it were really that easy, I'd have found the Marwari by now. Oh hey look, it's the it's the island unique coat. If you had fancy hair, you'd come home with me. <sighs> oh, poor Chuck. Nah, like, Chuck is kind of built like a brick wall. Um, like, have you guys... Have you guys ever accidentally run into Chuck when you're running up to Larry? Like, especially, especially on desert. Like, Chuck is kind of built like a brick wall.
Yeah, Chuck is adorable, but like he's kind of built like a brick wall. <laughs> I love him. I love him, but I've never run into that horse and not stopped dead in my tracks. <laughs> I, I just, oh my god. What do you mean by fancy hair? Island unique hair. Fancy hair. Chuck is Chuck and he's a Clyde, it's not his fault. Listen, there's never been another Clyde that has stopped me dead in my tracks. Ooh, there's a thoroughbred herd on Volcano! Sick. All right, come on, candy wafer. Listen, if there's one thing I want, it's an IUH thoroughbred. And I I will hope and I will pray for an IUH thoroughbred in that herd. However, I will not catch the herd until I get up there. Where'd she go on my phone and my TV? Yo, I'm on the TV. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Um, Chuck is paid to protect the goods in the wagon, although he instead plays bodyguard or quarterback, can't tell yet. That's real. Like, I would, I would absolutely. <laughs> Listen, Chuck is adorable. He's a lovely Clydesdale, alright? But... Why? Every time I'm just trying to peacefully run up to Larry, I think, oh, I can, I can just scoot right on through here. Right? And he's like, no, no, you can't, actually. Because I'm gonna stop you. I'm going to suddenly solidify using my, my supernatural powers, okay? And it's just, boom. Suddenly I can't just walk peacefully to Larry. Everything has to be an obstacle course. My mom literally said, hi, hello. <laughs> Hello, Shannon's mom. <laughs> um, do you like Taekwondo? I've never... I know what it is, but I've, I've never put any thought into my opinion on it. <laughs> um, so I would say neutral, because I've, I've never shown any interest in it. Uh, and I, I don't think I've even ever seen a YouTube video regarding it. So, we're gonna say, I don't know. <laughs> Not yet. Don't know yet. Alright, we gotta give Candy Wafer a break right up here. Do you like short or tall horses? I like tall ones. I like the feeling of power. I understand why, like, monarchs in, like, the really early periods of time would always ride in on, like, their giant horses. That is a power trip. That is an ego boost. And I get it. <laughs> I I finally understand why there, every depiction of, like, a, a monarch from a long time ago, where they're on a horse, they're on a giant one. <laughs> I get it. I understand. It, it feels so... It's such an ego boost to ride on a giant horse. Like, you're so tall compared to everybody else. Looks like we're crossing the water. How many titles do you have? I have 81. 
What is up, my guy? Alright. So that's number 14. Can you name my IUH for me? Um, name it... Um... Alright, sorry, I was checking my DMs. Not everyone interviewing Tem. I told them they could ask questions. <laughs> I actually like answering the questions. It gives me something to focus on other than the game. Uh, name it... Oh, I actually- I don't have any ideas. Uh-oh. Hang on, how- we're- we're really close to Larry, right? Yeah, I'm really close to Larry. I'm going to run over there and then run back over here. I would name a Ruby IUH Mystery or Misery. Ooh, that's a good name. Hey, Larry, how you doing? How are you doing, bud? Here, you get in here. You also get in here. Here we go. Now we just run back down and continue the run where I was. Which would be right about here. So I'm late I had track. Ooh, I hope I hope track went well. Is Chuck a baked bean? Kind of. <laughs> Do you like beans on toast? I I've never had it because I know the, the beans in like uh, England are much sweeter and we don't have those here so to me I think of the savory one on like some bread that I don't like and so I'm gonna say no but I I know that that the beans that they actually use for them are a lot sweeter than the ones we have here um so to me the idea of it is disgusting <laughs> but I've, I've never I've never actually had it Name my IUH cheese stick? Yes, do it. Here, for the next one we catch, we're gonna use a gold lasso just to free up some inventory space. Lunar time! Uh, we need to hit the record in title trivia today. That is so true. You do. I want to see you guys get five out of five. I've made today's question super easy. Um, and I, I want to see you guys get five out of five. Did everyone enjoy the April Fool's PNG tuber on the first? I did. I thought it was really funny. <laughs> um... Looking at the page, almost a hundred people have clicked on it. Bro wants to continue for an hour. <laughs> I don't- It's not that I want to, because usually when I decide to end, I don't want to continue. But I, I just want to see chat do better on title trivia for once. What's title trivia? It's where I ask chat um, five questions, sometimes ten if we skip a day. But I ask Jack five questions about my collection of titles. And they're usually simple questions that can be answered um, if, if anyone's just seen any of my, my titles for the petting zoo. What was the last title trivia results I had to leave early? I can go check. 
I can I can go check the last result. Could you go in the light for me, please? Oh no, wait. You don't have to. I can see the lines. Um, last title trivia. The results were. All right. Chat ended with five out of ten, so fifty percent. Uh, last last title trivia. Which was on the the last title trivia. Pretty sure we did one on. Hang on. There's a title trivia missing here. Oh no, we skipped it. So the the last the last one was last Wednesday and it was 5 out of 10. I had the wrong date on it. What's on Almondfield Danish? Oh, that sounds good. Oh my god. That sounds so good. <sighs> Man. What are Mel's pronouns? Mel can let you know that. Looks like the panda's dragging you down. Are you okay? No, 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 no. He's okay. I love Chubbins. He can do whatever he wants. Chubbins, Chubbins is my is my little guy. Yeah, the PNG was for April Fools. When you um when you claimed it on Kofi, it brought up an April Fools PNG. You're comfortable showing. Show the settings of the lighting you have because it's it's too good. Um, well, I have this I have this little visual issue right now. Um, I've already been told by the devs that it's a it's a Roblox issue. Um, <laughs> uh, but here are my settings. Almost everything is default except for shadow softness and saturation. But everything is default. Just missed a Clyde. I don't want a Clyde. Where is it? Is it like down there? <laughs> Yeah, um, I got a, I got a DM from Trick telling me, like, it said something along the lines of, like, hey, uh, I saw in one of your videos you were complaining about this, like, visual ring, and they, they pretty much were like, we checked it out, it's a Roblox thing, the most I would suggest is, like, maybe reinstalling Roblox, I was like, okay, I'll try that, I tried it and it didn't work, so now I'm just vibing with it, I'm just letting the void do what it does. <laughs> yeah, it's become a lot more often that it happens. There we go. Now I can catch the herd if I want to. Tim should showcase Franklin the Clown for a second. Ooh, I don't think I have him downloaded to my PC. Pretty sure I downloaded him on my, on my phone. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't have him on my, hmm. Mel, you gotta remember the, um, the, the veto tube files don't work if it, if it's just that. <laughs> long are you streaming for? Just until I get bored, pretty much. 
They do? Well, the last time you sent me one, it didn't work. Look at them. Look how silly they are. They're all so silly. I don't think I'm gonna catch the herd. Um, what color tack and accessory should I give my pink heart blanket Arabian? Yellow. Specifically pastel yellow. Do I dye Buck's mane and tail pastel yellow or keep it pink? Um, dye it yellow. I named my pastel drink or I expired milk. That's a nice name. <laughs> What would you do if someone told you they sold Trident Trident? Uh, as far as I know, you can't. Or maybe you can. It's, I think it's just trading you can't do. I don't know. I don't think I'd react. I, I still have mine. <laughs> I'm very happy with it. All right, let's grab three vehicles and just kind of put them in my inventory. As you guys can see, I have a lot of snow plows. <laughs> I've got quite a few snow plows. All right, refresh time. Can't say, just wanted to stop in and say hi. Hello. I hope your day is going very well. <sighs> oh, my Roblox is updating. Thank you, Roblox. What time is it for you right now? I am in EST. It is 4.27 p.m. My day's a bit all over the place. Aw. Well, I hope it- I hope it leans more to a positive- <laughs> to a positive, uh, a, a little more of a positive way. All right, to mainland. What's your favorite color? It's red. All right, there we go. Can't believe I'm still actually managing this event while just <laughs> with almost no inventory space. What are the questions to title trivia today? You have to stay for title trivia to find that out. Would you guys want a video that shows my IUHs? 
Would, is that something you guys would be interested in? If I did a little... A little, uh, a little IUH video? Because I've, I've got almost 20 now. I feel like that's enough to do a video with. Yes? Okay. <laughs> I'll upload that in the next few days, then. See, it's Wednesday. The next video is on Saturday. I'll upload that today. Why not? <laughs> Um, if you could get any, any IUH color you wanted that you don't have yet, what would it be? Topaz. Topaz. Or pink cow print. But probably topaz. A little tired um I will say if you guys saw me in a public server uh, not the day that the event started but a few days prior to the event starting if you guys saw me in a public server a few days prior to the start of the spring event you might want to watch the the video on Saturday because you might be in it <laughs> um you you might be in it if you guys uh, if you guys saw me in a public server before the event started. I already I already can confirm there's there's one person I've seen in chat today who is confirmed in the video. Need to start being more active. Yeah, we like having you in chat, Cam. Look at Chubbins with his little ears. <laughs> Sorry, I've just been staring at Chubbins with his little bunny ears. I love him so much. Why can't you have fancy hair or a fancy coat? There, there was one person who stopped in chat today who was confirmed to be in the video. If you guys, if just if you guys saw me in a public server a few days before the event started, you might be in the video. Anything excited? Not really. Just kind of, just kind of vibing. Answering questions, running around. Do you not normally play on public servers? I do, um, but I'm I'm talking specific ones. It was it was I believe a a Wednesday or a Thursday before the event started. <laughs> It was the it was the Wednesday or Thursday before the event started. If that gives anybody a hint, I was in a public server and it was the Wednesday or the Thursday before the event. Do you have any neon blue tax that you need a shoulder accessory for? I think the only neon blue tack set I have, I have two, and I think they both have shoulder accessories. What's your favorite animal? Red pandas. If you caught an IUH right now, what would you do? Catch it. <laughs> if I saw one, I would catch it. Um, and then I would have to think of a name for it, and then we would find its favorite food, and then it, I would be like, Oh, oh my god, it's it's IUH number uh, 20, you know, and we would celebrate. <laughs> we would celebrate, I would go get a random food, and we would name it after that random food. Look at this little thing just sitting here. How you doing, bro? 
Is baby blue on the trident? No, the trident is coral blue and moonstone. I really like the trident. It's one of my favorite things ever. <laughs> Glad you guys like the womp womp music. <laughs> this is fine. Hey, how are you doing? None of these horses are showing up here with fancy hair, fancy coats, come on. Shut a thought, you need to try to catch an amethyst event, Marwari? I wish, I wish, I would sob. I would, I would sob. <laughs> like, I, I really wish I could. Or a neon purple. Ooh, that would be so pretty. Though, to be honest, any any event IUH would be gorgeous. Ah. <sighs> What a flowery event, Marwari. Oh, that'd be so pretty! What's your favorite NPC in Wild Horse Islands? Uh, probably Ruby. Followed by Burns, followed by Steven. So in that order, number one is Ruby, number two is Burns, number three is Steven. If you didn't have a title petting zoo and you chose to make a petting zoo out of the event horses from this event, which one would it be? It would be the high tier. It would, it would definitely be the high tier. So the Marwari. Ruby seems evil to me. A lot of people seem to think Ruby is evil. And I just think that she's just a queen. <laughs> I, think, I think she's absolutely perfect and I love her. In my eyes, I'm a, I'm a Ruby truther. Ruby can do no wrong. <laughs> I love Ruby. There, there is no such thing as evil Ruby in my eyes. Ruby, Ruby can do no wrong. She's an absolute queen. She's an icon. She's a model. I love her. <laughs> Ruby, Ruby's an icon. She's the perfect NPC. That and she's dressed in pink. She's literally perfect for Wednesdays. <laughs> like Ruby literally wears pink. She's dressed up for Wild Horse Wednesday. I could, I could, I'm always going to appreciate a girl who dresses well. Oh my god, I can walk through Chuck? No, I can't. Alright, Chuck, you're just built like a brick wall. <laughs> Bro is literally solid.
What attack color should I give my chestnut V1 quad? Just thinking of topaz. Uh, probably. I feel like that's a good option. I love Ruby. <sighs> should I make a pink Grim Reaper outfit for Wednesdays? Yes, you should. Because on Wednesdays, we wear pink. Oh, hang on. All right, I'm going to go AFK for just a second. I'm going to put the Be Right Back screen up. Um, I will be back in just a moment. Mods are in charge.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Someone knocked on my door. They wanted me to sort out dinner plans. <sighs> okay. I am the one in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, sorry. I was asked to, um, to sort out dinner plans. So that's what I was doing. My bad. <laughs> Love the PNG. Thank you. This is the PNG for all of April. We'll get a new one for May. Am I late? Just a little bit. I've been live for, I'd say, like an hour and 50 minutes. So just under two hours. Ugh. I'm getting pizza for dinner. Or at least I should be getting pizza for dinner, if that is okay. Hello, hello! Welcome in! I want pizza, what the heck? Tango, I'll share. <laughs> I'm not stingy, I'll share. What's your go-to pizza? I am loyal to Little Caesars, I'm sorry. If you meant brand. <laughs> I'm very loyal to Little Caesars. I, I've, listen, let me tell you why I'm so loyal to Little Caesars, and this is, this is not sponsored, by the way. I wish they would sponsor me, but it's not sponsored. Um, and I, any time when I was younger, okay, we couldn't afford dinner pretty often. I mean, we still can't sometimes, but, um, when I was younger, we couldn't afford food a lot, so we couldn't really, we couldn't really afford to do like breakfast lunch and dinner it was almost always only dinner towards the end of the month which the end of the month for us was like the week of the 7th to the sorry the week of the 8th to the 15th um so we usually didn't have anything for dinner and because of this like we would at least once during that week every single month um we would go around the house and scrounge up, like, as much change as we could. And we would order for delivery. Um, because this is, this is back before they did, like, the nationwide delivery. But, uh, we had delivery in my town for a while. And we would order a hot and ready pizza and a large two-liter two Dr. Pepper. And it would be on, like, a Friday when we absolutely just could not afford to do anything else or afford anything else. And it came to like $10.30, because this is before the prices went way up. <laughs> um, and we would get a pizza delivered, and we would have that. And ever since, like, I've been so loyal to Little Caesars, because that has always been the, the pizza place that I could trust the most. I'm like, yeah, they've always had the best pizza that I've always ever had, and it's always been my favorite pizza place. So I am, I am so unbelievably loyal to Little Caesars. <laughs> I, even now, living in a town where we don't have a Little Caesars, um, Mel and I both regularly still go to the Little Caesars in another town just to get it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We also got free Little Caesars pizza when we were, we were in need growing up. <laughs> um... So I've been I've been loyal to Little Caesars for a very long time. It's my favorite pizza chain. The only one that I I think even even when I'm like 98 I'll be going, "Oh, I want Little Caesars." You know, I'll still be doing that. That's what I would, that's what would be happening. You know, I'll be on my deathbed and I'll be like, one last request. My grandkids will lean in and go, Grandma! And I'll be like, Little Caesars. Stuffed crust. And that will be my last request. <laughs> I 
If you only ate your favorite food, would you get sick of it? Yes. <laughs> yes, I would. I, I think anybody, if they repeatedly eat the same thing over and over, would get sick of it. All right. Bump that up to 15. <laughs> yeah, I go to reach out to my little family and my hands are covered in Parmesan cheese. <laughs> I am I'm so I I love little Caesars. Because let's be honest, Little Caesars is not meant to be the best pizza. It's just the cheapest. It's the most affordable pizza. If you had to completely delete one breed but you can't choose the Take, what, which would you choose? Um, Mustang. That's my answer, Mustang. It is the best to me, though. I don't know. I, I would say there. I've had a bunch of different pizza that I would sit consider better. But when it comes down to it, nothing hits more. Um, nothing hits home more than, than a nice Little Caesars pizza. Like, Mel and I have a local pizza chain. Not pizza chain. A local pizza place. Here, like, a town over, one town over, um, that makes some really good pizza. But it's, like, for just a large pizza, it is, it's, like, 25 almost $30. And it's really good, but it's really expensive. I don't know, I don't know why I have to pay almost $30 just for a pizza. But, um... Then there's like Little Caesars where for a pizza the same size, I, I get it for like six, seven dollars. And it's good. <laughs> Taco pizza exists? Yes it does. So does um Um So do so do buffalo chicken pizzas, uh, chicken bacon ranch pizzas, you name it, it probably exists. <sighs> oh, another Andy heard. That's great. <clears throat> I just got strawberry shortcake. Oh, that sounds so good. <sighs> Nutella pizzas exist? Yeah. Listen. You, you name it, somebody's probably made it at some point in time. And if they haven't already made a pizza like that at some point in time, you should be the one to do it. <laughs> Add it to the list of pizzas that have been made at some point. Hello, hello! Quick question, do you think Taco Tuesday is a cute name for my ruby paint horse? I think it's a beautiful name, actually. That's a great name, I love it. I'm eating Pizza Hut. Oh, I haven't had Pizza Hut pizza in so long. Man, I haven't ordered from there in a long time. <sighs> New player join a public server to hang out with players a stream. Uh, probably after stream. I say probably because I really don't know. 
I've still got to get dinner and everything, because it's, uh, it's 4.59, it's about to be 5. We had a Pizza Hut and our Target and had the best stuff. Oh, They removed it after COVID, though. Oh, that's sad. Oh, that's very sad. Where is your fancy coat? You don't get to be out here with a rare coat. Make it fancy. None of these horses are out here dressing up for me. Trek made it so on April Fools we can breed V1s and events. Would that be your favorite day? No. <laughs> it would not be my favorite day, actually. That would that would probably ruin a lot of the in-game economy. Like, I... Would I take advantage of it? Yes. Yes, I would. But, um... I feel like that would ruin a lot of the in-game economy and be a bad idea overall. <laughs> Man... Is it stuffed crust? That's what I want! I want to get stuffed crust. Maybe it's just because I'm hungry. I'm just really hungry. Any new IUH was gone? No, not really. In this stream, we've caught, so far, um... Four Appaloosas, one Icy, zero IUHs, and zero Marwaris. I think I might start doing the, the event count regardless of, of what event it is. Just for the next few events, just anytime I'm streaming, we'll just do a little event count. Still good? Yeah. I'm just trying my hardest to catch the the event Marwari. No, if a neon purple one just showed up right in front of me, I would be so happy. <laughs> but let's not forget, that's not how my luck works. Alright? I I caught an IUH Percheron during the the winter event where we had a Percheron. And it, it wasn't the event code, okay? And then, during the, during the, during the holiday event where we had a Frisian, I caught an IUH Frisian, but it wasn't the event coat. So, if anything, if my luck continues down this path, I could get an IUH Marwari, but it won't be the event coat. Because that's how my luck works. <laughs> that's just how my luck works. It it never works out in my favor in that way. It's like, here, I'll give you all the details you want, but because you weren't specific enough, here you go. Here's, here's this. <laughs> I love Cheddar Whale and I love Blue Duck Plate, though. They are, they are so cute. Hey, I love your channel. Thank you. Is a horned ghost Frisian rare? It's it's significantly rarer than a regular ghost Frisian, yeah. Uh, and by regular, I mean V2. The V1s would probably still outvalue it. <laughs> yeah, Tango, Tango, your luck last event was so wild. 
You got two IUHs in two days and no, no, no wild caught Valerabians that you personally found. Like, I, I know I found you one, but I, I wouldn't really count that one because it, it was, it wasn't even in your server. Your server really said no, not this time. You got you got let down by your server, Tango. But you know what? You know what, Tango? At the very least, use this as a time to make your server be nice to you. Remind your server of what it did to you. And make it pay you back. That's what you need to do. Make your server pay you back. Could hardly wait for my food. I'm so hungry. Alright, volcano time. <sighs> Still have three slots open. What was that grid that just showed up? Uh, that was me making sure the <laughs> the animation for when I'm talking was correct. I was making sure that I still had the bouncy animation for when I was talking. Because when I'm not talking, I, I just kind of float around a little bit. Hello, hello, welcome in. What's your dream, IUH? Probably a white Frisian with a pink cow print man and tail. And I almost got there. I've caught a Frisian on mountain. You know, I've, I've caught an IUH Frisian on mountain. So, I, I almost got there. <laughs> Luck just happened to not be in my favor that day. What's your favorite accessory texture? Um, like pattern? I would probably say this this Valentine's like heart pattern that I've got on Candy Wafer. Uh, followed very closely by that cloud design from Unicorn Academy. Hello, Lexi. Welcome in. Made the pink grim outfit. <laughs> he looks so slay. I'm I'm glad. I'm sure it looks great. If you put it in the Discord server, I'll check it after stream. I hate the lava on volcano. It's not that bad. I love Volcano. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what? That was- that was fine. If you guys heard that little click, that large click right then, that was my- that was my spacebar not working. <laughs> you guys heard that really loud, like, snap? That was my spacebar. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that was my space bar. 
Oh god, that was beautiful. <laughs> So what it does, this keyboard, it's not my SkyTech keyboard. Um, it's it's not my SkyTech keyboard. This is a Red Dragon keyboard. Um and so what happens is sometimes the the space bar will hook up onto the the bottom edge of the keyboard and it'll it'll get stuck. And so when you hear me like snap it, that's snapping it back into place. Oh, that was that was wonderful. <laughs> I'm sorry I dropped you in lava, Candy Wafer. I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, if you mean the shaking of the screen, you can turn that off. Yeah, screen shake right here in settings. Alright. The herd's on royal, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, the... the... <laughs> yeah, I'm like, it's not that bad, and then my space bar stops working. Okay. Karma at its finest, I guess. Where's Jojo Siwa? She was right. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I really do need to replace this keyboard. <laughs> oh my god. The JoJo Siwa reference. Hey, she should have known better. <laughs> if she had a wish, she would have never messed around. <laughs> okay, let's reset my server. <laughs> That's enough of that. Imagine if you caught a prismatic spring worry. Oh, I would be so happy. My year would be made. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still laughing at myself. I make myself laugh so hard. <laughs> I am the funniest person I know. I am my favorite. Ooh, login reward time! <laughs> Alright, to mainland! Would you if you saw someone with an IUH title? I've already seen that person. <laughs> um, I was too scared to go up. Um, I was just, uh, Jojo Siwa is trying to rebrand herself. From the, the bows and the rainbows. Like, that's what's going on here. The, um, the, new, the new music that JoJo is releasing is supposed to be a rebrand. Um, but the thing is, it doesn't sound like a rebrand. It sounds like an outfit change. Um, and I guess the way to put that is... Because I don't want to bash it too hard. You know, like, I can't make music. I can't sing. I can't even dance, alright? Did you see the little flip she did? She's got a flip somewhere in the choreography. But somebody described this on TikTok um, like the best way I, I've seen. Somebody said that Jojo Siwa's outfit is the same, but it's just been, ch the color's just been changed. And I started paying a lot more attention. And if you guys have seen the, I don't know if it's Bad Girl or Karma, if you guys have seen the costume for that. It really is just one of her old outfits, but now it's just darker colors. And I I think about that a lot. I'm like that nothing nothing's really changed except for the color of the outfit. And like again, I can't dance, I can't sing. <laughs> I'm not going to not going to bash her too hard. Um like her and I are the same age. 
You know, she's very clearly been a lot more successful than I have. But, like, I just, I feel like the rebrand isn't working. Or, at the very least, it's a little too rapid. Like, did you guys see the video of her, like, cutting someone off in traffic with her, with the car that's got her face all over it? Actually, she's got two, doesn't she? She's got two with her face all over it. Um, <laughs> there's a video of her cutting somebody off in traffic and switching three lanes rapidly using that car. And I saw the, I saw, <laughs> I saw that video the other day. Someone's like, it, it had her, her new music that's like, I was a bad girl. And it cuts to the clip of her cutting people off in traffic. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Like she's she's been successful. She's she's doing her life, doing her thing as she should be. But I just I think the memes are so good. <laughs> nah, Tango Jojo is just a little bit older than I am. Like I think Day is older than I am. Like Jojo Jojo will be 21 this year. So will I. I am the same age as Jojo Siwa. And I think that's wild. <laughs> yeah, Jojo Siwa is just a couple days older than I am. Man, none of these horses having fancy hair out here. Oh yeah, fair. Yeah, so just a, just two days. <laughs> You're the same age as Jojo Siwa? Yes, I am. In fact, Jojo is older than I am by two days. <laughs> Jojo has me beat by two days. <laughs> Jojo spawned in on this earth two days before I did. That's okay, Jojo. I'm catching up. <laughs> I'm catching up. <laughs> I don't even know myself what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> yeah, she was on Dance Moms. I think that's where she got her, like, career start. Because, like, I saw a clip of her on Dance Moms. And it's like, we dye my hair blonde because my hair is naturally brown. And I'm just like, that's a child. Yeah, like she spawned in two days before we did. That's not fair. You Miller twins, right? Which one's the oldest? Mel is the oldest, but I'm the tallest and the cooler one. <laughs> no, I don't think I'll ever understand like the child pageant scene because why are you dyeing your like little child's hair? Like that hair has barely had any time to grow. Why are you dyeing it? Why are you bleaching it, for that matter? <laughs> I will never understand that kind of scene. Or, like, the, the dance scene. I don't know. I've never been interested in that stuff. I almost joined football when I was younger, though. <laughs> like, I feel like... I feel like I would have been so cool had I joined football. Because I remember we had a little school carnival. If any of you guys had this in, like, maybe middle or elementary school. Mine was in elementary school, but could have been middle school for some of you. But have you guys ever had, like, those school carnivals where you show up on, like, a Saturday and they've got games in all of the rooms? You guys ever done that? If you have, um, you know, like, some of the, some of the... Um, Say soccer, not football. I mean American football, by the way, not soccer. Soccer is not fun. Um, I, <laughs> I, I was talking about football, actual football. Um, you know, American football with the, with the, um, the the wings. You buy wings when you're watching it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of the most American thing to say. Uh, wings and hamburgers and nachos and what you know like trucks <laughs> trucks um uh back roads jerseys 
um, driving long stretches of road in the middle of the night. Cowboy boots. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, what else? What else is... <laughs> what else is the Americans? Uh, uh, country music! Um... Uh... Oh, yeah, 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 I'll divorce my wife because she doesn't support the same football team I do. <laughs> um, I guess lately, Taylor Swift, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I almost joined the football team as a kid because I, I went to... I went to one of these school carnivals and the football coach for, like, the younger... The younger team was there. And we didn't have a lot of options for girls to do. So on the younger teams, women were allowed to be on the football team. Um, and I, I, I joined this one little thing. They gave you a football and you had to throw it into, like, a, a little hole. And I got a perfect score. Because Tiny Me was just really good with their aim for some reason. I don't know. And w on the way out... On the way out, um, this guy hands my grandpa, who was chaperoning me around because I was a tiny little kid. Um, he hands my grandpa, like, a sign-up sheet um, and was like, hey, we're giving anyone who scored this much, like, this little sheet. I'm like, oh, cool. And then I never ended up joining because my mom was very much one of the people who were like, you can't play that. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I joined basketball a few years later. Remember that game? Yeah! Didn't Dora diss someone who couldn't find the end zone? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was on the Nickelodeon Super Bowl. <laughs> Is there a new event? Yeah, the spring event's currently going on. God, I really wish I had- I had, um... I had watched- <laughs> Really wish I had watched the Nickelodeon version of the Super Bowl. <laughs> The voice, you can't play that. You can't play that! <laughs> I don't know, this is kind of how I do imitations of my mom for some reason. My mom's voice isn't that deep, I promise. <laughs> she's, anytime she says no, she's got like a kind of a booming voice. She's got the she's got the typical like scary mom voice, you know, when like you've messed up and you're like, oh no. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that like that. Everybody's got a mom that's like that. <laughs> um, desert time. Stop by the women's, uh, I guess it was middle school because I was talking to the girls. You wanted me to join? All oh, fair. We, on my, on my basketball team, we had a girl who was already six foot. She got mistaken for the coaches. Our coaches were, like, college students. Like, our coaches were seniors in high school and, like, freshmen and sophomores in college. And this this girl who was on our team, she was taller than everybody else. She was already six foot. This girl absolutely towered over our principal. And I'm just like, huh. Oh, yeah! A girl on every team started crying when they had to go up against her and I felt so bad. <laughs> Oh, I felt... I felt terrible. <sighs> well, we just... Listen, it was really odd for someone so young to be so tall. Like, this, this girl had definitely hit a growth spurt really early on. And the rest of her family was, was also super tall. And we had her... We had her on, um, we had her on our ba our basketball team, and I remember thinking like, oh, at least she's on our team, because <laughs> I was I was a little short, I hadn't hit my growth spurt yet, so I I was probably like still under five feet because I was really young. <laughs> um, and I just oh my gosh. Harry PNG is the color of desert. I know. I love it. What was your favorite subject in school? My favorite subject was English. 
I really liked English. I liked all of the, um... <sighs> I liked doing the essays. I really liked, um... I liked the book reports. I liked all the reading we had to do. It was fun. We go... Bump you to 16. Did you catch an IUH in the Thoroughbred Herd? No, I didn't. You liked book reports? Yeah, I did. I actually did my very first one, like, really early. Um, book reports at the schooling that I was in started in fifth grade. I did my first book report before it was due. Like, I asked her, I was like, hey, I know we do book reports this year. Um... Do you happen to know what they'd be on? And she was like, yeah, here are your options. And I turned my book report in. I turned it in a month early because I wanted to write one. What's a book report? You write, you read a book and you write what you think of it, what happened in it, moments you think are important, and kind of what the book's about. And depending on what kind of assignment you are given for the book report, it kind of lends on what book you get. So if you do a book report on a book that is fiction, usually the teacher will let you pick. Um, but if you do a book report on historical stuff, you have to, um, you have to mostly write about, um, like the, the importance of how it was written, what you think these events would have been like sometimes like this is one of the questions we had what do you think the event would have been like had you lived through it how do you think you would have felt and stuff like that it was it was a general essay but you have to write, write it based on a book Watching this live with my mom. Tell your mom I said hi. <laughs> Ready to do oral book reports? Yeah, we did a few of those. Man, none of these horses having any fancy hair. Um, the school we had to do on pieces on colored paper. Turn into a sandwich, like we literally had to cut them and stuff. <laughs> There's the horse that's there. <gasps> I'm at a pizza place right now. Ooh, I'm just waiting for my pizza to get here. I remember doing a, um, I remember doing an essay on how to make a tuna sandwich. <laughs> like, these were the, they were essays on, like, how to properly explain something. So, like, it would be like, you can do a recipe, you can do a tutorial, you just have to show us and let us know and describe how to do things. So, I remember mine was on how to make a tuna sandwich. <laughs> no, Mel, I'm talking about the elementary school one. Your Wizard 101 was middle school. Because yours was a PowerPoint. I'm talking about the essays. Did you get an egg? Yes, I did. And then the following year, I did one on, on an egg salad sandwich. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even remember what yours was on. No ages or age groups, please. Keep your personal information out of the chat. I was on how to trade on Animal Jam? Oh, fair. I think I did an Animal Jam one at some point as well. Like, I'm really certain I did an Animal Jam one, too. 
What was your least favorite subject in school? Uh, PE. I hated, I hated PE. I hated gym. But that's just because I, growing up, I had asthma. I still have asthma, actually. But, um, growing up, I had really bad asthma. And the school kind of refused to acknowledge that or, um, kind of help me with that. And the type of asthma I had couldn't be dealt with with, like, just an inhaler. Um, so I had to actually get, like, one of those machines where you, like, it, it turns, like, this liquid medicine into a vapor and you have to sit there and breathe it in for, like, 20 minutes. Um, I had one of those because just an inhaler wasn't helping me. And so the school was like, hey, could you maybe take my daughter out of this class? Um, she's coming home sick almost every single day. She's not feeling well. We have to put her on the inhaler. And... Um, they're like, no. <laughs> so I remember I would, I would leave that class coughing, having trouble breathing, and it would go on until the end of the day. And I, I actually had, I, you guys have seen the card system, right? Like, go change your card. We had that, and I would be changing my card every day just because I couldn't stop coughing and just struggling to, like, breathe. So I never ended up really liking PE, and I actually got it taken off my schedule in high school. Um, not, not for a, I would say in high school, the asthma didn't matter. <laughs> it didn't matter in high school because, um, what my mom did, she was like, yeah, we're, we are not even going to see if your, if your lungs can handle this. All right. I'm go get me the form today. Go to your, go to your scheduling counselor. Get me the form. I'm signing you out of this class. I'm like sick. <laughs> So I, I didn't have to do PE in, um, in high school. And that also, unfortunately, my asthma meant I couldn't stay in basketball either. So I didn't stay in basketball. <laughs> Got a total kiss of someone else and I was the pure green card kid. So everyone was like, ooh, yeah, me too. Um, and this is something I'm a little salty for. I'm a, I'm a little, a little... <laughs> I'm a little salty for this. This was in third grade. I sat next to this this girl. Um, she was my best friend, right? And I'll be honest, like, little me even thought this. I was like, man, this girl will not shut up. I'm going to get in trouble. So I wasn't talking to her or anything. We had a little presentation from somebody in the area who brought their service dog. I was sitting next to the dog, okay? Me and the dog, we were sitting next to each other. Um, and this girl, all right, I should, we were best friends, but even then, like, tiny me is like, please be quiet. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, this girl next to me keeps talking. And my teacher is like, no, uh, we'll say Tem in this case, but Tamaria is not my real name. Tem, go change your card. So I do it. I sit back down. I'm still quiet. All right. This girl keeps talking. Still won't shut up. <laughs> and... Um, I get told to change my card again, so I do it. At this point, I'm not on yellow anymore. I'm on red. Which means, like, no recess tomorrow. That's what it means. And then this girl still won't shut up. I'm, like, looking at this girl. I'm making the- I'm doing the- the really annoying little, like, uh, third grader thing where I'm looking at her. I'm putting my, like, finger up to my lips. I'm going, shh, shh, just at her aggressively. And the teacher goes, all right, that's it. Get up. So I get up, I move, and she won't let me sit next to the dog anymore. And then afterwards, the girl is still talking. Okay, I'm not even sitting next to this girl anymore. She's still talking. And once again, the teacher looks at her, realizes it was her, and then still made me miss recess the next day. The teacher still went, oh yeah, sorry, didn't realize it was her, and then I still won. I got moved away from the dog. Okay, third grade me was very upset that I didn't get to sit next to the dog anymore. And then I, she still made me miss recess. <laughs> I was so mad. Like, I'm still salty to this day about that. Like, I'm, the, I've already graduated, okay? I, I have already graduated, I, I have not seen this teacher in years, and I'm still so salty that I wasn't allowed to keep sitting next to the dog. 
<laughs> I got to I got to sit next to this dog. I didn't touch it. I didn't say anything to it. I just kept looking at it because I I love animals and I was so mad that this this girl who I I at the time called my best friend. All right. At the time, I called this girl my best friend. We were not friends anymore. I, I remember, like, tiny me was like, You made me move away from the dog! We're not friends anymore! You can't come to my birthday! And you know what? That year I had the best birthday ever, and she wasn't there. <laughs> like, I remember being so, so angry at this girl because I couldn't... She wouldn't shut up, so I had to move away from the dog. <laughs> And I had a really good birthday that year. It was a great birthday. <laughs> I was so mad. Oh my god. Yeah, she wouldn't shut up. Like, this girl got me in trouble. The teacher realized, okay, that, like, it was the girl talking after a while. Never. I got, like, a, like a half, a half sincere sorry from the teacher. Still had to miss recess the next day and then on top of that on top of that i couldn't sit next to the dog anymore i was so upset <laughs> me and that girl legitimately did not talk for the rest of the time we were in school together like i remember even in high school i still <laughs> we we acted like we didn't know each other even in high school i think we spoke a little bit we had english together freshman year but oh my gosh <laughs> I didn't get to sit next to the dog for more than like 10 minutes. I was so mad. It was like a golden retriever too. Really well behaved. I mean it was a service dog. It was trained. And I, I wasn't, I wasn't talking to it. I wasn't touching it or asking to pet it. I was just sitting next to it because I was like, I'm so lucky they gave me this spot. I was listening to the presentation. Oh, Roblox just crashed. Okay. <laughs> I was listening to the presentation and I was, I was watching the dog because it, it made like a little grunt noise and laid its head down and I was like, oh, that's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> Me and that girl were not friends for the rest of elementary school and none of middle. Come on, Roblox. Go ahead and open. Got in trouble once in third grade because I asked my teacher. No, because I asked my friend for a pencil and my friend gave the teacher a mean look. What? Roblox, go ahead and open. Come on. Value questions aren't allowed because they kind of derail the chat. We don't want people coming in here exclusively just for value questioning. And, uh, trading ads when they can get all of that information on the Wild Horse Island wiki. They don't really need to be coming into a, into a YouTube chat just for value questions. Alright, no, we'll just sell some stuff. It's okay. Derail means to get off track or distracted. It takes the chat off of the main focus. Alright, to mainland! Yeah, generally how it works with, with YouTube chats especially, and Twitch chats... When one person comes in asking for values, it causes another person to ask, which causes another person to ask, which causes more and more people to ask, and it just becomes a chain, and eventually it just floods chat. Hello, hello, welcome back. 
Do I event slash IUH hunt or go trade for more pastel dream or worries? Um. Uh, IUH hunt. We let advertise. Advertising is also not allowed. There are places meant for advertising. Like, there are Discord servers designed for it. <laughs> My chat is not meant for advertising. Hello, Layla. Welcome in. Happy Wednesday, Layla. How are you? Once I finish running mainland, I'm gonna stand up and you guys can ask any question you want again. It's been a while since I've stood up and walked around. Wanna get that blood flowing in my legs, so I gotta stand up again. Ooh, a butterfly. Your avatar is so pretty. Also, I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing good! I'm vibing. And thank you. Mel drew the new one for this month. All right. When was the last time you touched grass? Earlier today, I literally went outside. I should be asking a lot of my, a lot of other people that question. All right, candy wafers doing a little dancey dance. I'm going to stand up real quick. All right, I'm standing. Feel free to ask whatever you want. How many accessories do you have? I think I've got at least 2,000 in my inventory. Might be 2K, or it might be 1K, and I might... Yeah, 2,366. Not counting the ones that I have in the vault. Um... Will you stream on your birthday? Probably not. Who's your favorite IUH and why? Mulan. Uh, because she was my first. Why are you standing? Uh, because I... I'm trying not to sit for longer periods of time. And for me to still stream, I have to at least stand up and walk around a little bit. Ugh. <sighs> What mythological animal would you want to have as a pet in real life? Ooh. That's a good question. Are there any that resemble cats? Because <laughs> I love cats. If you get a Clover Clyde and it's a male, will you name it Father's Ashes? No, probably not. What's your favorite event? Can't be titles? V1 Val. What's your biggest ick? Um... Like, relationship or just ick in general? Like, pet peeve? Unicat is one? I would love a cat that had, like, a little unicorn horn. Um... Any? Okay. Um... I'm gonna say, then... I don't like people... Um, who... <sighs> oh, my biggest one. I don't like when when you say no to going somewhere with someone. Because, like, you're like, oh, I don't have the money. And they go, oh, well, it's it's only $570. Come on. Don't you know how to have fun? I hate those people. I hate when you're like, I can't afford to do this. And somebody insists that you do it. Because you'd be like, yeah, I don't know, I have to get, like, some necessities. I hate when they can't take no for an answer on stuff like that. <laughs> I can't stand it. Like, I'm sorry that $570 could go towards something better in my life. <laughs> I don't want to go on this, on this really weird adventure. <laughs> Favorite coat? Legacy Palomino Pinto. Something you give up for something else. Uh, 
I don't know. You'd have to be more specific on that one. Out of all of your IUHs, who has the lowest spawn chance? Uh, lowest in terms of less likely to spawn or lowest in terms of most likely to spawn? Because a high spawn chance would be a lower number. Um, a low spawn chance would be a higher number. Did you make your PC yourself? No, my PC is by Skytech Gaming. They're a great company. I suggest you check them out. Not sponsored. If you could change one thing about your career, what would you change? Um... <laughs> I would already be on the path to becoming an engineer. Would have started, um, like, with a higher number. Uh, okay. In that case, it's probably Cheddar Whale. I think it's Cheddar Whale. Do you watch My Little Pony? No, I'm out of the age demographic for that. I think I think Cheddar Whale would answer the 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 question for the the spawn chance. Um Would you give up one of your favorite things for something else that you either really want or another favorite thing that you have slash wanted? Um I again it really <laughs> it really depends on what it is. Because, like, there's, like, would you give up stuff in a game for, and it's, like, maybe something, something I wanted in a game. And the answer is, like, probably not. Like, I, for example, I've wanted a V1 Infernal Frisian for a couple months now. If someone came up to me and was like, hey, would you give up, um, like, Trident for this? And I'd be like, no. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Um, but, like, in real life, it's like, if you give up, say... If someone came up to me and was like, hey, would you give up, uh, maybe it's like some expensive object that I own in exchange to go see this friend, I'd probably be like, yeah, yes I would. Like, if someone came up and was like, hey, if you get rid of your phone, you can go see Xander. I'd be like, oh, yeah, sure, deal, I'm in. <laughs> um, I would be like that. It really just depends on what it is. How many mismatches do you have? I actually don't know. Um, I know at least three. <laughs> um, no, at least four. Because I've got Artemis. Where are you, Artemis? I've got Artemis. Um, I've got Big Lots. Where's Big Lots? I've got Big Lots. Um, I've got Row. I've got Big Bean. Where are you, Big Bean? I've got Baked Bean. <laughs> um, if, you are, are, if you are comfortable with saying, are you in a relationship? Um, it's complicated. <laughs> it's a complicated question. Um, do you have any V1 mismatches? I think so. Um, I believe I do. I just gotta find it. Leopard. Facebook status. Yes, yeah, so real. Um, where are you? Right here! Yay! <laughs> this is my V1 mismatch. She doesn't really have a name. <laughs> but she's she's thriving. I love her. Um Ever watch Friends? I've never watched it in entirety, so I don't actually know the names of any of the people. Oh, I just... Where are you, Candy Wafer? There you are. Come on, Candy Wafer. 
you ever had a near-death experience, what happened? I don't think I've had one. Um, like, it, I think especially if I, if I had had one, I probably would have been, grew up watching Friends. I did too, Tango, but I, it was, it was kind of like it was, to me, Friends and How I Met Your Mother are in the same category as, like, I woke up in the middle of the night and they were just kind of on. Alright? I would wake up in the middle of the night, go out to the living room, and they would just be on, followed by George Lopez at 6am. <laughs> like, they would just be on. So, I've, I've seen a lot of Friends, I've seen a lot of George Lopez, and I've seen a lot of How I Met Your Mother. But I can't tell you which is which. Well, I can tell you which show is George Lopez, but I can't tell you which show is which out of Friends and How I Met Your Mother. And I can't tell you any of the characters' names. Look, <laughs> okay, I really can't. I watched both of them. Friends and How I Met Your Mother are TV shows. I know Lois really likes Friends, so I'm sure if I asked her, she'd watch it with me. Oh, look at the tiny baby! Look at the, look at the teeny tiny little Appaloosa. Come here. Aww. <laughs> Alright, welcome home, number 17. <laughs> it's just a little baby. <laughs> okay, well now I have to forever fool you. We'll do that in a minute. <sighs> yeah, we started the stream with 11. That was number 6 that we've caught on this stream. I think the spawn chance was like one in one million. Oh, there we go. See, one in 1.5 mil. Uh, I believe you can catch an IUH full. Alright, let's forever full you, little guy. Bye, Layla. Hey, Larry. You know the drill. Alright, come here. Um, your name will be... Um... <laughs> Trying to think. Um, Pop-Tart. Well, the issue is I already have a horse named Pop-Tart. Funfetti? That's a great name. Thank you, Tango. Welcome home! Oh, you are so cute! <laughs> Oh. Welcome home, Funfetti. 
All right, get in my backpack, Funfetti. Don't go outside my door. <laughs> Mel just... <laughs> Mel just walked up to my bedroom door and went uh -huh, outside my door. <laughs> she just came in here and made a weird noise outside my door and walked away. <laughs> oh yeah, she does look like a cupcake! <laughs> She's so cute. Can't even tell you what animal that sounded like. I don't know either. She just went up to my door, made the noise, and walked away. Like those big seals, like the elephant seals. Or just the really the really fat seals that go pla <laughs> an egg. <laughs> Were you in a public or private server when you caught Mulan? I was on a private server when I caught Mulan. However, I was in a public server when I caught Flint. Flint was my lovely little obsidian quarter horse caught in the public server. Just make sure we clear up one more inventory slot just real quick. Hey, Mel, do you have food? <laughs> I just gotta know. No. When are we getting food? Are IUHs edible? Uh, I don't believe so, no. Oh, is mine being gotten first? Or like, what? what's going on? I'm hungry. Do you own horses IRL? If not, do you plan to? I don't, and I never plan to. Um, horses are pretty much just like, um... They are the vase of animals. Okay? Like, sometimes you may get a pretty good deal on a horse, or you might get a good deal on a vase. But it's the- it's the deal- it's the charges they don't tell you about. Like, vet bills for horses are incredibly expensive. Alright. Their- their food is incredibly expensive. Like, you may have gotten the vase, but what about the flowers that go with it? What about maintaining the vase, okay? Like, it's- <laughs> No matter what deal you got on that vase, there is so much more that go- that goes with it that you don't really think about. And I, that is why I never want a horse or an expensive vase. <laughs> I don't want a vase or a horse. I don't want either of them. I'm- I'm- Owning a horse is upper middle class activity. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Owning a horse is upper middle class activity, and I am in the lower class. <laughs> So I'm- I'm just kind of vibing. 
Now, I would love, I, I would love to at least, you know, visit some horses. Like, I, 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 I haven't pet a horse ever in my life. I would love to pet a horse. You know what I want? I want another- I want another cat. Don't get me wrong, I love Sparky. I- I love Sparky. But I feel like- I feel like having another cat could be pretty sick. Actually, maybe I just need to go hug Sparky. She's pretty fluffy. I think I'm happy with her. I want a dog. <laughs> and not a little rat dog like a chihuahua or something. I love... I love... I love my chihuahua. But I... I think I want a dog. So you have like seven that aren't in your house? Yeah, but I don't get to see them that often. Maybe I should just give Sparky a hug. I gave her a hug when I walked away earlier. I think once I get up to Volcano again, we'll do title trivia, and then I'm gonna end. Are you more like a cat person or a dog person? I am a cat person. I love my fluffy little cats. Yeah, I think we're gonna- we'll do title trivia after I get to Volcano. Like the egg on your PNG? Thank you! <sighs> I think when I get a dog, I want a lab. Or when I, eventually, in the future, you know, when I have my, my own family, my own place, and the money to manage it, I would like a, I would like a husky or a pomsky. Because I live in a very cold area, so, you know, it's fine. And I, I kind of, I would like a dog so I can, I have a little buddy to go on walks with. Yeah, I want- I would want one. I would want a husky when I have the money to manage the grooming and the, um... I- just when I have the money to manage it. <sighs> yeah, 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 I wouldn't mind a hyper dog because you know what? I- I want a little buddy to go outside with. I- I wouldn't mind, because I would- I would want to go outside. I would want to go for walks, maybe start running. Like, I would- I would love to have just a little companion go with me. That- and I've- I live in a very cold area, so huskies are really common pets around here. Hello, hello! Welcome in! <laughs> I don't know, there's just something so appealing about having like a dog that'll- that'll go around with me. Hello, Ruby! Welcome in! Oh, I haven't the last three weeks if you caught any new IUHs. I have not. I wish. I honestly wouldn't mind a Pomsky. <laughs> they're, um, they're like Pomeranian Huskies, and they're, they're just small Huskies.
Give Ranch a kiss? I'll give her a kiss in a minute. She's fine. I'm not even supposed to have Ranch out right now. I just pulled her out by instinct. I'm supposed to have Candy Wafer out right now. I have a Yorkie right now and all she does is bark. <laughs> you know what I want? I want a vocal cat. Okay? I love Sparky. Sparky is vocal when she wants to be. But I really- I've always loved cats that will tell you what's on their mind. Alright. You wake up, you go, hey, what's up? And they just meow at you. I love vocal cats. <laughs> I love cats with opinions. Otis is fairly vocal. Ooh, oh, my my spacebar locked up again. There we go, I fixed it. <laughs> Man, I... <laughs> My, my cat, Sparky, she's just a little baby, okay? Like, she's... She's a little baby cat with a little baby bed and a little baby blanket. And I just... You won't, you won't find much better than this. <laughs> I love her so much. Otis is so chunky, though. I can barely lift the fellow with my noodle arms. I love chunky cats. Like the, like the healthy chunky, the ones that are just naturally wide. <laughs> I've started following this cat named Axel on TikTok. Axel is an overweight cat on a weight loss journey. Um, he's also known as Biggie Smalls <laughs> on TikTok. I've been start I've started following Axel and he's on a weight loss journey and he just recently gained the ability to jump up on the couch all by himself. And I I'm so proud of him. <laughs> he's currently owned by a rescue. Um so they they've got him on a on a weight loss journey and I I'm so proud of him that he can jump up on the couch by himself now. I also follow Cheddar Bob on TikTok. We're mutuals, and I love Cheddar Bob. Nothing makes my day more than opening TikTok and seeing Cheddar Bob on my screen. <sighs> I don't think I could foster animals because they would never leave. Those are called foster fails, and, um... If you guys have seen my admin by Scorpius, their current cat, his name is Bug, it's short for Cuddlebug. Their current cat is a foster fail. And Bug is the cutest little guy. He wears little sweaters, he cuddles with everybody. I remember I was, I loved him so much when I went to see Toby before they moved away. That like, when it was time for me to leave, I was still holding the cat and I was going, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I gotta go, I love you, I'll be back. And Toby goes, who are you talking to? I was like, you're the cat. <laughs> I was talking to the cat. I was like cradling him in my arms like a little baby and he was just sitting there purring and I just... Toby's cat is a little angel and I love him. <laughs> Toby's cat is so sweet. Like, I, I almost cried to have to leave. I was like, oh. And he's just so sweet. I I love cats that are just little babies. Just little, little sweethearts. Alright, that'll be number... Number 18. Oh, 
<sighs> Should have just grabbed the cat and ran. No, Toby was the one giving me a ride home. But God, I, I love Bug so much. He's such a little sweetheart. <clears throat> oh yeah, Bug is also a void cat. I forgot to mention that. Bug is also a black cat. You know who else has a void cat? My other admin, Lois. <laughs> Lois has a void cat as well. His name is Milo. My cat doesn't mind being held like a baby. She prefers to be like over the left shoulder where she can see everybody, but she doesn't mind if I hold her like a baby. Should I do mass capture, run and refresh? If you have inventory space, mass capture. Um, if you don't, run and refresh. Otherwise, the vault is going to absolutely scream if you have a vault. Frisian Heard on Royal, wish me luck. Ooh, good luck! Mine did not enjoy baby holding. Sparky doesn't really care. She'll let me hold her, like, um, upside down like a baby. But only, <laughs> only if I give her a treat afterwards. Like, there are, there are deals that have to be made before my cat will let me hold her like a baby. She has to receive a treat before or after, and I can only hold her for a maximum of five minutes like that. <laughs> Sparky will get upset if I hold her like that for more than five minutes. Ah. That I'm at 721. That's a lot of, what are they, rubies? That's a lot of rubies. Can make some pretty cool lassos with that. <sighs> My cat will hug your feet with her claws and teeth every time you go home. <laughs> Aww. I remember when Sparky was a baby, she would, um, as soon as you would tie your shoes, getting ready to go out, she would, she would start playing with the shoelaces and get them untied. <laughs> She never once cared about shoelaces until somebody she cared about was getting ready to leave. <sighs> Come on, game. Give me a herd. Yeah, once we get up to Volcano, so right after Lunar, um, once we've run Volcano, we'll do title trivia, and then I'm gonna end. Watch five fire trucks go by. Oh my gosh. I hope everything's okay. That's a little concerning. Dog, when he chews on a bone, he uses my feet to hold it. Aww. That's so cute. Pipple, you should like bite your hand. No teeth. Lead you over to the couch. Have you sit and then cuddle with you. Aww. I like the dogs that, uh, that tuck themselves in at night. Uh, my chihuahua does this. He grabs his blanket and like moves it in a way that he can just roll over it. And and just tuck himself in. Like, I love dogs that do that. Dogs that tuck themselves in at night are such sweethearts, always. <laughs> Eating breakfast can talk that much. That is all good. Don't worry about it. Meow. Man, there really is no fancy hair out here. Love cuddly dogs are my favorite. Me too. They're so sweet. 
All right, we, we're just finishing Lunar, then we've got Volcano to run, and then it will be title trivia time. <laughs> uh. I like cuddly cats, especially, though. Because they're so fluffy, okay? They're like... I don't know. They're, they're just perfect. Oh, and when cats yawn and you can see their little teeth. Welcome back, Jordan. I love when cats yawn and you can see their teeth. <laughs> their little fangs. How long you've been streaming? Um, today I've been live for three hours and fourteen minutes. We're about to end here in a little bit. <sighs> I almost forgot it's Wild Horse Wednesday. Yes, it is. All right, now we've just got Volcano. I'm gonna rescue Raccoon one time. His name is Sammy and I get to feed him baby puffs. Oh, That's so cute! Um, we- I- I once went to a place where they- where they raised bear cubs and they let you feed one some Fruit Loops. <laughs> Um, so I've- I've had the experience of feeding a- a bear some Fruit Loops. <laughs> Alright, Volcano is the last island. Or are we? What if we get all title trivia right? If you get it all right, then you, you get the stream extended by an hour. Found anything interesting yet? No, not even a- <laughs> We found a one Icy this entire stream, okay? One Icelandic, and seven of the Appaloosas. One Icelandic, and seven Appaloosas. That is what we have found so far in this stream. Yeah, for sure she's broken. She's trying to sleep on top of her food and water bowl. Oh. My cat, if I remember correctly, should be in her bed right now. She loves her bed. Are you looking for an IUH? Um, or stuff for... I, I am looking for an IUH, yeah. At least today I am. But I wouldn't mind finding the Marwari either. Okay, there we go. That's number 19. We're only catch we're only um counting wild caught events in this event count, by the way. My event count is only wild caught. I don't know why I've been eating Reese's Puffs without the milk. Oh, that's so good. I used to bring them for snack time at school. <sighs> Do you have a bought one? No, I don't. I haven't purchased any. I wish, though, but I, I really, I really haven't.
Cats having babies. Oh. Oh my god. Congrats on the kittens. This is the perfect opportunity. Um <laughs> Once they're once they're of course a little a little more developed in a, in a few days, um, okay, not just freshly born. <laughs> this is the perfect opportunity to use that TikTok sound. That's like America, and then it's like a bunch of hello. People have been using it for cats constantly, and this is your it's your turn. You're gonna you're gonna have more cats. <laughs> Any of your volcanic minerals? I don't have that many. I don't think. I've got ten. I'll go turn both of them in. Or I could go get that herd. How much room do I have? I have one slot open. Yeah, let's make some room and we'll grab the herd. Let's go right to Lunar and then it is title trivia time! Ooh, my kneecaps hurt. Need to free up two slots. So one snowplow and two snowplows. Where's the herd? The herd is over there. Get my prismatic lasso out. Totally decorating my island since the update before it came out. Ooh! Well, I hope decorating it goes well. Um... If you don't already have the VIP Game Pass, I would highly suggest it, uh, as it it brings your allowed total up to 200 things on your island. Hello, hello! Welcome in! Alright, once we catch this herd, it's title trivia time! Yay! We got a pure one, and she's clingy! So we'll make her number 20. She's got the pure maiden tail, and she's clingy. She's so precious! Alright, it's title trivia time. You know what that means. It's title trivia time! Are you streaming tomorrow what, at what time? Uh, probably, and 3 o'clock EST, like always. Alright, our co-host today will be um you know what no not funfetti um snickerdoodle you are our co-host today buddy you're gonna sit right here Alright, for those of you who have never attended Title Trivia before, how this works, a poll will pop up in the YouTube chat. Do not put your answers in chat, okay? Let's hide the event count for now. <laughs> Do not put your answers in chat, you will click your answer or tap your answer on the poll. There are five questions in Title Trivia, you are not allowed to put your answer in the chat. I just accidentally opened Minecraft, hang on. <laughs> All right. There are five questions. Let me explain to you guys what happens depending on your score. Oh, God. Sorry. 
depending on your score. All right. <clears throat> if you guys score zero out of five, I will shake my head and I will leave, okay? You will be disappointed, all right? You will, you will be disappointed. I will be disappointed. I will shake my head and I will leave. If you get one out of five, I will laugh at you in a grocery store in front of your mother. Okay? I will laugh at you in a grocery store in front of your mother. If you get two out of five, I will point and laugh at you in a grocery store, but I will wait for your mom to walk away. So at least you won't get laughed at in front of your mother. Um, three out of five, I will pat you on the back and leave it at that. You know, good job, champ. Four out of five, four out of five, you get a high five, okay? That's all you get from me at four out of five. You get a high five. Five out of five, the stream continues for one hour. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me get question one and then we'll go ahead and start. Okay, question one. Which of these titles wears light magic fade dye? There are no answers in chat. Select your answer, do not type it. There are no answers in chat. Which of these titles wears light magic fade dye? Which of these titles wears light magic fade die? The poll has been ended. If you said title 81 with 14%, you are incorrect. If you said oven mitt with 20%, you are incorrect. If you said title number 80 with 23%, you are incorrect. The correct answer was hairspray with 43%, meaning chat's score so far is 1 out of 5. Keep it up. Here's question two. Which of these titles wears a treasure crown? Which of these titles wears a treasure crown? Which of these titles wears a treasure crown? Alright, I hope you guys are sure of your answers. <laughs> okay. If 
You said Ziploc with 17%. You are incorrect. If you said Fabuloso with 40%, meaning chat's majority vote, you are incorrect. If you said Dishwasher with 14%, you are incorrect. The correct answer was all of the above with 29%, leaving chat score at 1 out of 5. Allow me to get question 3 for you guys. Question three. Which of these titles is not dressed in any form of yellow? Which of these titles is not dressed in any form of yellow? Which of these titles is not dressed in any form of yellow? All right. <laughs> if, if you said Lemon Pledge with 3%, you are incorrect. If you said sunscreen with 0%, which none of you did, you are incorrect. If you said magic eraser with 27%, you are incorrect. Chat score is now 2 out of 5. <laughs> Allow me to get question 4. The correct answer was tap water. Here's question four. Which of these titles is not dressed in orange? Which of these titles is not dressed in orange? Which of these titles is not dressed in orange? Well, actually, Sarah, tap water isn't blue. Tap water wears green, but close enough. <laughs> All right, which of these titles is not dressed in orange? Okay, the poll has been ended. If you said conditioner with 35%, you are incorrect. Conditioner wears orange, just straight up orange. Um, if you said dish soap, I was gonna say pastel orange, but conditioner wears orange.
just a regular orange. If you said dish soap with 14%, you are incorrect. If you said Q-tip with 43%, you are incorrect. Q-tip wears neon orange. If you said Scrub Mommy with 8%, you would be correct. Scrub Mommy wears pink. Leaving chat score at 2 out of 5. <laughs> the correct answer was Scrub Mommy with 8%. All right, final question. Question five. Which of these titles does not wear heart boppers? Which of these titles does not wear heart boppers? Which of these titles does not wear heart boppers? This is the final question of today, guys. Which of these titles does not wear heart boppers? Which of these titles does not wear heart boppers? All right. The poll has been ended. It is time to determine chat's final score for today. Are you being pointed and laughed at in a grocery store or are you receiving a pat on the back let's find out if you said lysol no we won't do lysol yet if you said scrub mommy with 17 percent you are incorrect if you said Play-Doh with 20%, you are incorrect. Now, for the people who answered Lysol or nail polish remover, I, I'm going to give you this opportunity to tell me which one you answered and why. <laughs> Go ahead. Before we, before we reveal the final score. To those of you who answered nail polish remover or Lysol, I will give you the chance to tell me which one you answered and why. Um... <laughs> Here, stand up, little guy. Let's go on a field trip. <laughs> let's- let's reveal the answer. We are going to go visit my boy nail polish remover right now. He's in the barn. <laughs> well, um, Fred, you'd be right on the yellow, but both of them are in yellow. Alright, here we come on nail polish. We're coming up. Hey there, buddy! 
Here is nail polish remover. Leaving chat score at 2 out of 5. Keep your keep your eyes peeled, chat, because I will be laughing at you in a grocery store. <laughs> the correct answer was nail polish remover with 23%. Chat's final score for today is 2 out of 5. Congrats. <laughs> you did not beat your record. Chat's record was 3 out of 5. Um, to beat the record, you would have to get 4 out of 5. You guys have yet to, um, to get a high 5, but I believe in you. Okay, you'll get it next time. So, with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and end. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, new video on Saturday. <laughs> um, if you guys saw me in a public server before the event, um, you might be in a video that's coming up on Saturday. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. You know the drill. When you see the thanks for watching screen, type title in the chat. Um, good morning for now, and I'll see you guys next time.